uses of energy in homes and schools are lighting and heating. Understanding a bit about light and heat will help us see how some small changes can lead to big savings in energy use. Good for the environment and good for the budget as well. And I have a couple of students who are going to help me do some experiments. This is Evan and Aaron, and we're going to do some experiments having to do with the electricity and light and heat and all kinds of things. We're going to start right here with the pencil lead. Now I want cool. you to come down here where we can get a good look at this. And we clipped this in before. This is just a pencil lead, and we've hooked it up to two electrodes here. And I'm going to turn on this power supply. And if I turn up the voltage, we're going to pass some electricity through the pencil lead. Oh, yeah. Now, if you put your hands through there, you feel the heat coming off that? Mm -hmm. OK, now I'm going to turn it up a bit more. And just keep watching and tell me what you notice. How is it changing? It's getting a lot brighter. Getting a lot brighter. Oh, keep watching. That's getting too bright to look at. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> and what happened is it got so hot, you could see the smoke coming off it. This is made out of mostly carbon, and it's actually burning up the carbon, and the carbon is gone. Now we're going to move over here. You're saying, what does this have to do with light? Oh, we are going to see. So come on over here. we got two light bulbs on our stand, and there's a difference between these two light bulbs. If you look in the center, you can see there's a thin wire connected between the two sides. That's the filaments. But this light bulb, we have surgically altered so that we took the glass off it, OK? Now, I'm going to turn up the voltage, and I'm going to pass a current through these two light bulb filaments. They start to get warm. Tell me, how can you tell that they're warm? Um, they're lighting up. They're lighting up. They're lighting up. Oh, yes. And when you get things warm, they glow. And you can see this one's going a little bit, too. But you see what happens is it gets very, very bright. But more is coming off of here just than the light we can see. Put your hands near it. There's a lot of heat coming off of it. Yes. Can you feel the heat? Yes. It's definitely warming up our hands here. There's two ways that you can make things give off light. First, you can get it hot. But a second way you can make it give off light is you can use electricity to excite individual atoms. And the second way to do this is much more efficient. And the easiest way to have something which gives off light, method number two, is with a camera flash. Go ahead and charge up your camera flash, and let's point at the people who are taking pictures of us. Here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, if you feel the front of that camera, it's cold. cold. It's cold. This makes energy through an electric excitation. So what we've done is there's a huge pulse of energy which goes through some xenon gas inside a little tube. It excites the atoms, and they give off a pulse of light. It's very efficient because it's giving off light. It's not giving off Heat. Not giving off heat. Come on over here to this big plasma ball. Um, Aaron, I'm going to ask you to put your hand up on top of the plasma ball. And we're going to bring the lights down. Go ahead and grab a hold of the light bulb with your free hand. Oh, yes. And this is an electric excitation as well. The bulb stays cool, but it's giving off a lot of light. This is very efficient. As a matter of fact, the amount of electricity that's lighting, making this go is passing through your body. It's not very much energy at all to make this light bulb go. You can make lights which work like this. And at the beginning, we looked at the two questions which you folks had. And remind me what your questions were. Yours was? How do energy efficient light bulbs work? How do you make an LED light bulb? How do you make an LED light bulb? OK. Now tell me, if we're going to make a light bulb and we're going to make it energy efficient, we want to give off light. What do we not want to give off? Heat. Heat. Oh, yeah. So we don't want to make a light bulb that works this way. We want to make a light bulb which works maybe like the camera flash or like these ones right here or like the one with the plasma ball. Excellent. So let's take a look at this strip right here. Go ahead and grab it and just feel it. And you can feel it doesn't get warm. It stays cool. This works a lot like an LED, and that was your question. If you have a strip of a particular kind of material and you connect it between two electrodes and you pass an electric current through it, it makes it give off light, but it doesn't give off heat. That's the key thing. And if it doesn't give off heat and it's giving off light, it's more energy efficient. <laughs>